In this documentary, we'll run a simulated nuclear bomb explosion in the heart of San Francisco and see what happens. In an explosion, a fireball as hot as the sun rapidly expands to a radius of more than a kilometer. Anything trapped inside that fireball is instantly vaporized. In our simulation, the epicenter of the explosion is the Civic Center. It's a neighborhood with many government buildings. For those inside the fireball, it's instantaneous. They won't even realize it. Within a five kilometer radius of the epicenter, Chinatown, Embarcadero, Potrero Hill, and all areas west to Richmond will suffer the greatest destruction. Buildings will be destroyed and debris will fill the streets, creating extremely dangerous conditions for everyone in the vicinity. Given San Francisco's population density, the initial death toll could exceed 200,000 people and about 150,000 injured. Within a 10 kilometer radius, the radiation will cause third degree burns. All of San Francisco will burn, all the way to Daly City. The fire will spread even across the bay, igniting Oakland and Sausalito. According to various estimates, about 150,000 more people will die from burns, debris injuries, or radiation sickness, and over 100,000 will be traumatized. Many of these injuries could prove fatal over the next days and weeks. Radiation sickness in particular will take lives days and weeks later. In time, about 70,000 more will be added to the death toll. Within a 15-kilometer radius of the blast, the shock wave will be enough to shatter windows, causing additional casualties to people who come to the windows when they see the nuclear blast. The shock wave would reach South San Francisco and destroy about half the windows in all of Oakland. The blast wave from a 550 kiloton nuclear bomb would reach neighboring cities such as southern San Francisco, Sausalito, and Oakland, which is across the bay. The problem with San Francisco is that the nuclear bomb would collapse the bridges, the Golden Gate Bridge and the San Francisco, Oakland Bay Bridge. In effect, the affected city would be completely cut off to the north and west, and help can only come from the south. Fifteen major hospitals are at the epicenter of the blast and will be destroyed, in the south, there are only a few large hospitals in the immediate vicinity which will be overcrowded very soon. People who suffered severe burns and could have been saved will die because they cannot be treated. The city will be completely destroyed. 50% of the population will die and 50% will be injured. If the explosion is grounded, San Francisco will face radioactive fallout. Seven months a year, San Francisco has a southeasterly wind and a radioactive fallout would make the effects much worse. The radiation contour will reach farther than Salinas, which means the only way the authorities can try to help will be cut off. That would severely diminish the ability of rescue teams. In addition, because the city is surrounded by water, the radiation spreading across the bay will have a devastating effect on the ecology of nearby cities like Oakland, Berkeley, Richmond, San Mateo, San Rafael. All cities in the bay will be affected by the spread of radiation in the water.